Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey. Feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe. Well, I'm the one to see. Friday rolls along, you wanna hear my song. So welcome to my show. Hi, my name is Soraya Sobreda. Welcome to my kitchen and uh, welcome to another um, segment of Soraya Sobreda's Fierce Cooking Show. Hello, my name is the super sexy, super fabulous, and super desirable Soraya Sobreda. Now, I don't feel like cooking with my apron on because I have this wild outfit. I want you guys to see. I have purple, I have red, I have blue, and I don't care, honey, because it's my kitchen and I'm cooking. So again, welcome to Soraya Sobreda's Fierce Cooking Show. And today we're going to have a special recipe now. On the first segment, we did um, Soraya Sobada's Papi Licken Spicy Chicken Wings. But today, we're going to do that bean dish that I was talking about in that recipe, okay? Um, what, am I, what am I going to call that? Soraya Sobada's Delicious Diva Red Sexy Beans, okay? Hello. So, I don't know if I'm going to remember that the second time around. Why don't you come into the kitchen? It's the same kitchen we were at before. And I'm not putting on the apron. I am not putting on the apron. So my recipe is as follows. This is a traditional Puerto Rican recipe. And um, Junito Perez, you know, I cook for him. You know, this is another recipe that I developed for him. But Junito Perez told me about the recipes his mother used to make and all the Puerto Rican food he used to eat when he was a kid and all the memories he's had, you know, very food-oriented family and a lot of love and a lot of food, a lot of food and a lot of love. So again, the history with me and Junita Perez, I met Junita Perez, he was like this, eating a lot of crazy stuff, and I volunteered to share my traditional Puerto Rican recipes with him that may be a little bit lower in fat than what he was used to eating. So anyway, we're going to start. Now, for my beans, my delicious diva red beans, Soraya Sobada's delicious diva red beans, the base of that dish that really gives it a fabulous fit, flavor, okay, fabulous flavor, is uh, smoked pork neck bones, okay? Now, you can see right there, cameraman, um, these are smoked neck bones, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna start with this part of the recipe because this is a pretty complex recipe. I take the smoked neck bones like this, hello, smoked meat, and what I do is I boil them down, so you can come over here, and I kind of started this a little bit. So, we boil it down, I'm over here. We boil it down to where the meat is almost coming off the bone. You wanna take a look in here? All right, so I boil this down because the water, the stock of the beans is what gives it the flavor. All right, you can use chicken stock if you want to, like organic chicken stock. You can use unorganic chicken stock, whatever you want, vegetable stock, whatever you want to do to give it more flavor. Instead of just adding water to the, to the beans, I love, again, uh, taking the smoked neck bones, boiling it down for about an hour and a half. It has some fat, you know, but it's, it, it gives it a really good flavor. So we started that. So that part is done. And again, these are the smoked neck bones. You get them in your local supermarket. There's smoked turkey. You can get smoked turkey if you prefer not to use pork. You know, some people have, you know, they don't want to eat pork. That's totally cool. I love pork every once in a while. So we started with that. Now, the second part to this recipe, which is really the foundation, is 
Not that we're going to eat the caldero, but every Puerto Rican family, every Puerto Rican kitchen has a couple of these. And as you can tell by the look of this caldero, it's been around, honey. Just like me, darling, but we're still fierce, okay? Then, what we do is your, your traditional Latino, we're, I'm Puerto Rican, so we're doing the Puerto Rican vibe here, and I'm a big fan of Goya products. We're taking the Goya Sofrito, okay? Goya Recao. Now, I'm making a big batch of beans, a huge, huge batch of beans. And what I do is I make a big batch, and then I store them in little glass jars, and I put them in the freezer. So whenever I want them, it's been a hard day, you know, out on the street, taking care of business, doing the work, honey, you know, keeping the wheels turning. And I want to come home and have a nice little, you know, traditional little Puerto Rican meal. My beans are already done. I just take a jar out, heat it up, and it's good to go. I defrost it, of course, and then heat it up. So we have the sofrito recal. Um, we're going to take olive oil. You come up and close up. So what we're going to do is just put some olive oil. Now, I'm making a whole lot of beans. So I'm just putting the olive oil here to like saute and brown the sofrito and the recal and the other spices first. So we start with olive oil. Okay, and I'm going to put the list of ingredients on this uh, video. The olive oil, and then we go. Hi, everybody. So glad to be cooking again with you guys. It's the second segment. I hope to have a segment once a month or maybe twice a month. But come closer. Okay. Now we're going to let this olive oil get hot, of course. And we're going to start by putting, that's two big spoonfuls. Now two, now three. I kind of go by eye, darling, because I, I have a good eye for a lot of good things. I have a good eye for tasty food and tasty men, honey. Hello. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. That was sofrito. Now this is recao. Come a little closer, cameraman. Go into this pot here. Okay. About that much. So we have olive oil, sofrito, and recao. Okay, now, another ingredient is fresh cilantro. Honey, I love my fresh, I'll, I'll go crazy on the fresh cilantro. Just add a whole bunch in there. It's chopped up. If you can find the organic cilantro, that's fine, go with it. Some neighborhoods you can find it, some neighborhoods you can't. Lately I've been finding a lot of organic foods and vegetables in my local supermarkets here in Jackson Heights, Queens. And then we add onions. I cheated a little bit. These are frozen chopped. Uh, take a look at me, darling. Take a look at me. Mm -hmm, honey. Frozen chopped, darling. So we have olive oil, sofrito, recal, okay, goy brand, fresh cilantro. Then we go with garlic. And the whole point is to get this to, to saute. And I, Jamaica Perez tells, tells me that when uh, he was a little boy in the kitchen watching his mother cook, he asked her one day how to make these beans and she described how to do it. She goes, you know, you gotta brown all the ingredients and that's what wakes up the flavor, you know. I mean, you could dump the water in here now and everything, but that would be so useless. You wanna just, I shouldn't say water, you wanna place the broth of the neck bones in now, but not now. Not now. I'm gonna let this brown. I'm gonna let this brown. And I'm not wearing my apron. I am not gonna wear my apron. Alright, darling, I'm not showing off with the outfit. And now we're back, darling. See? As you just noticed, cameraman, you can come back in again. You got this going nice and bubbly. Okay, and even the cameraman said, ooh, that smells good. And that's just a recao, sofrito, olive oil, garlic, fresh cilantro, no spices yet. Okay, now I'm going to just lower this a little bit, but we're going to keep it going bubbling. Now we're going to put the powdered spices. And again, ladies and gentlemen, darlings, I don't measure my spices or anything, okay? So uh, it's adobo. Now, adobo doesn't have a mischief, some people are going to say blah, 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 but I use Goya adobo, and I have an idea of what I want to put in there. So I place the adobo, 
and then I don't use sasson with the red. I use turmeric, turmeric. So we just have adobo now, powdered spice, turmeric, organic turmeric. And I'm never shy about color because I love color. I live for color. And this is a nice golden color because the sasson has that food coloring stuff and we don't, we don't use that in this kitchen. Okay, we try to be as healthy as possible. And then the next spice is ground oregano. Okay. Again, like the chicken recipe, I'm going to take the cap off so I can really get in there because we got to move fast with this recipe. Those neck bones, I can't tell you what time it is right now, but those neck bones have been stewing in there for hours and they're dying to come out. They're like, please let us out. Let us out. We've been ready for hours, Soraya. Come on. Now the next ingredient that I added was ground cumin. I'll go through the spices again. Adobo, turmeric, ground oregano, brown sexy cumin, honey. It's brown and sexy like my men, that spice. Okay. I think, I think we got a good base. I think I'm gonna need some more. That's okay for now. Okay. That's gonna continue. Now I'm gonna put the heat up a little bit. We're gonna let that kind of fry up some. Oh yeah. Camera, come here. Look at that. How those neck bones are boiling. Those neck bones have been waiting all day to get into this recipe, darling. They've been like, Soraya, honey, the meat is done, girl. Come on, let's get this recipe going. You know, I have backup cameramen, and my first cameraman didn't come through. So thank God we got Hector here helping out. He's such a helpful guy, everybody. He's such a sweetheart. So is the other, but this one's a very lovely, lovely man. Okay, so there you go. My pie holder was stuck to the window, so. All right, now, the sofrito recao, cilantro, garlic, powdered spices, adobo, uh, uh, adobo, cumin, oregano, and turmeric, bubbling up in olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. I'm still a virgin. Okay, so now we're gonna add the water the stock of the smoked neck bones to what's happening here, which is our base of the spices and herbs to the beans. And I'm not wearing an apron because I don't want you guys not to see this fabulous outfit. And this is really hot. It's all live. Live at the Fierce Rama Recording Studio Kitchen. I'm gonna add those snow cones later on, but okay, so now let's take a look. We have again the garlic, the cilantro, the cumin, the oregano with the olive oil, the goya sofrito, the goya recao. Okay. That's all getting mixed up there. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to separate the meat from those bones because that got really tender because that's been cooking since this morning. It's past uh, 7 o'clock right now. Um, now we're going into a different set of ingredients for my beans, for my delicious diva red sexy beans, Soraya Sobiraz. We are using, for this recipe, we're using five cans of Goya tomato sauce, darling. I, I live for Goya, honey. Oh, you know, I, I support Goya because Goya's been around for a long time. As a little child, honey, I remember, Jumita Perez remembers, this was like one of the only Latin brands that was catering to the Latino community. Now you have all these other brands. That's cute. That's because the Latino population is just growing and growing, honey. We're so fierce. And I'm using a mix. Tomato sauce, five cans, to this big caldero. And we're gonna have two large cans, one of pink, one of red kidney beans, darling. So we're gonna get a nice little reddish color. Okay, we're gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna put away the cilantro that I I'm not gonna use. Mm. Welcome to my kitchen and my show, darling. Oh, when you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe. Well, I'm the one to see. Friday comes along, you wanna hear my song. So welcome to my show. Welcome to Sarai's Kitchen. Okay, uh, I'm getting happy because we're going with this recipe really nice. Here is the five cans of tomato sauce. Cameraman, you with me? And she goes. 
stock, all the herbs and spices, and we just added the tomato sauce. Now it's just like the Italians, well I'm, I don't want to mention any ethnic groups, but like, like Italians, I've said already, with their pasta sauce, you know, with this, it's like comfort and on their pasta and it cooks for hours and it's just delicious and it's yummy. That's the same thing with, for me, with the Latino beans, my red beans, black beans, whatever beans I plan to be using for the, a recipe and I, I like the bread. It's like, this is like so delicious and Janita Perez tells me like, again, when he was a kid and he'd be in the kitchen, all the beautiful Latina women were in there cooking and he'd be there waiting for that food to cook and once it was cooked, you know, his gorgeous cousin or one of his gorgeous little, you know, they were little, he was a kid, they were older than of course. They would feed him red beans with rice. Oh, and he would be in heaven, he tells me. Now, can you imagine some fabulous looking woman, like somebody like myself, feeding you red beans and white rice? You be in your glory too. So he tells me about those times, you know, in the kitchen, um, the food being cooked, him being fed, like aroma, all the love in the kitchen. So that's what this dish, um, does it transports me and Junita Perez back to that time of oh, yummy eating and yummy times with the family. And again, after a hard day of working, or I love serving this dish on a Sunday, a nice Sunday meal. It's delicious. Ooh, we really went all on this recipe here. It's to the top. So we just added the two large cans of the beans, one red kidney, one pink, five cans of tomato sauce. Okay, we're moving backwards. Um, the cumin, the oregano, the adobo, the turmeric, organic turmeric, moving backwards. The recal, sofrito of goya. Um, the fresh cilantro, garlic and onions, sauteed in olive oil. Okay, now we're, take a look here, this is, we gotta let this boil down because the neck bones aren't even, they're not in there yet because I can't fit it. I'm gonna need a bigger caldero, honey. So um, we're gonna come back when this is boiled down some and I'm gonna add the meat to the, uh, the beans and let it simmer down some more. Now this simmering down process, some of you know, excuse me, um, you know, just like the ethnic groups with, the, with their pasta sauce, this could take hours. So um, I would say this is gonna take us at least an hour and a half. But we're gonna come back in about a half hour when this is simmered down some, we add the neck bones, and we'll keep moving with this recipe. For Sarai Subadas, Delicious Diva, Red Sexy Beans, honey. We'll be back. Hi, we're back. I'm having a little drink. I need a drink, my last drug of choice. Not that I've had many drugs in my life. Sarai Subada, catch the last name. So, Bray, Dad, hello. All right, I'm not gonna tell you what that means. I'm gonna have a little drink of caffeine, cold coffee, and a little, Junita Perez is a big Batman freak. You know, Batman, he loves big, muscular men. <laughs> he loves Batman and Robin and me. Um, I'm having a little drink of black coffee and a straw because I don't want my lipstick to get messed up as we're waiting. I added more neck bones to the Soraya Sobedas, delicious diva. Diva Delicious Red Sexy Beans. I added more of the neck bones. It's boiling down. The bad thing about this recipe when you're cooking it, boys and girls out there, darlings, chulos, chulas, mi amorcitos ahí in the internet, everybody who's been supporting my videos in YouTube, you guys have been so good. Saying such beautiful things about Soraya Sobre la, you guys are so cool. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? What was I talking about? Oh, I'm getting a little zooted here with the caffeine. But the beans are boiling down, and oh, oh, what I wanted to warn you guys about is that this is a messy recipe. Messy, messy. You have to constantly like keep an eye on the beans, stirring them, just like you do a little pasta sauce. That Italians, I love Italian food. 
I love Puerto Rican food better. But um, you know, you have to constantly stir it, and the, the sauce, the beans are just bubbling away. So you got to keep wiping the stove down, cause a clean kitchen is a sexy kitchen. Yes, capture that. It's beautiful. See, you got that nice red color without using the sazon, the food coloring in the sazon, and the MSG and the sazon. We don't want that. We don't want any MSG. We want to try to refrain from as much MSG as possible because uh, we want to go natural. And uh, the beans are bubbling, bubbling. And here's to all you guys who have been a little drink for me, a little toast to all of the support that I've been getting on my videos as my New York News 1 video has gotten like a thousand and something hits in one week. I entered a video to the New York News 1 because I'm a big fan of New York News 1. And I submitted my video and I got a lot of good press on it. You guys are just so fabulous. So here's to all of you. Caffeine, darling. No Red Bull, just black coffee. They're stewing away, they're bubbling away, the beautiful beans, the neck bones, batter the neck bones. It's coming along. It's lovely, delicious, darling. Gotta watch my hair. We don't do a Michael Jackson in here, my hair gets burned. God bless Michael Jackson and Lika Wright. That's, that's terrible, honey. Michael Jackson is gone, honey. I can't handle it. I dedicate this cooking show to my to Janita Perez's mother, Miriam Perez Montalvo. And I dedicate this little cooking show to Michael Jackson. He was fierce, okay, hello. We grew, I grew up on Michael Jackson. I know Janita Perez grew up on Michael Jackson. I was gonna wear my longer hair, but I didn't want my longer hair to catch on fire. Remember Michael Jackson with that Pepsi commercial and his hair caught on fire, honey? We don't want any of that going on at this video. You guys, some of you may get a kick out of, you know, Soraya's hair on fire, uh-uh, honey. Uh -uh, I know some girls out there, mm -mm, child, they eat that up. So we're not going to have no long hair by the stove with the beans bubbling and cooking. Uh, but again, uh, this little cooking segment is dedicated to Miriam Montalvo, Jimmy Tupers' fabulous mother who taught him some of the bases of this recipe, which I've enhanced. And Mr. Michael Jackson, honey, may he rest in peace. So come a little closer, cameraman. We still have some neck bones here and some nickel. We're going to add that once this boils down. Now, again, this is a big caldero. Once this is all cooked, I have jars up here, darling. Hello. They get stored in jars and they go in my freezer once they cool down. I put them in my freezer. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to end here and we're going to come back when this so, boils down. We're ending the, uh, the segment uh, of Soraya's second recipe on YouTube that we're putting, Soraya Sobredas Diva Delicious Red Beans, Red and Pink Beans. This took at least, cameraman, Hector, how many hours? Two, three, three hours, three hours. You know, I could have done the recipe ahead of time and simulated all, but you know what? No, 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 no. I wanted to go through each stage. Um, it's a labor of love, cooking, because I love to cook and I love good food. It's late, later than what I thought, but I'm not going to complain, so I never complains, darling. The beans look great. Okay, so it's a three-hour process from start to finish. It's, look, it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. The aroma in Janita Perez's apartment is just incredible. Now, I like to add... As a final touch, just for like the authenticity of, of Puerto Rican beans, another Goya product, but the, uh, the stuffed olives uh, with the piment pimentos and capers, it's so beautiful with the beans. Do not, a suggestion, do not put this while the beans are cooking, because this adds, this is in vinegar, and it adds uh, a lot of salt to the flavor of the beans. So you want to add this at the end, and you don't continue cooking with this in there at the end because it'll just add to the salt content. It's gonna make it salty and you don't want that. So I'm gonna add this now, uh, cause the beans are done, I'm gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna add it, but I'm not gonna, you guys don't need to see that because you know, it's gonna go in there and it's gonna look really beautiful. But the main thing is the taste. And the olives is just, a, when you have it with the rice and everything and you have the olives, it's just so, it gives such a good little zest. So I'm just gonna take some out. And I like my beans with more of the cal what we call in Spanish el caldo, more of like the, the gravy, 
and I just love that, you know. And and, and I, I like to try to make my, uh, not that I try, but I like making the beans more low carb, that it's not a starchy bean um, um, sauce, that it's more, it's more of, of a caldo, uh, not a broth, but more of like a, a soupy type of uh, uh, mixture and texture. Oops. So um, that's that. Um, and as always, the cameraman gets to taste the beans. The cameraman gets to taste the beans. And today we have Hector. And Hector's going to taste the beans. And he's going to be honest. And he loves me just like all the other cameramen. They're Hector, delicious. how are the beans? Delicious. Are they delicious, delicious? Very good. They need rice, right? Brown rice, white rice, barley is good. Um, I like using, I like using, what I'm going to do with the beans tonight, we're not going to, you okay? Uh, what we're going to do with the beans tonight is buckwheat, kasha. Instead of rice, this is really good high fiber, cooks really fast, very healthy. So again, this is the beans, it's done. I'm going to add some olives. You don't want to put too much of that vinegar in there because it's going to add to salt. You there? You okay, cameraman? See now the olives and all that with this makes it so beautiful. See now that's, that's real Puerto Rican beans. You don't want to put too much olives, just some. So when you spoon some up, you have the green, you have the beautiful brown, golden, red color in there. Again, this was not uh, prepared with any artificial food coloring. Okay, you got that beautiful color. You got the smoked neck bones, giving it a really beautiful flavor. You got the red pepper in there, that's gorgeous. You know, if I had more time, I would have cooked a whole meal and we would have sat down and we would have savored it together. But uh, you guys have the recipe now. I'm gonna post it on YouTube. I'm gonna list all the ingredients and I hope you enjoy. Soraya Sobredas. Uh, Diva Delicious Red Kidney Beans, um, cooked to perfection and cooked with a lot of love. So thank you very much and we'll see you soon. Bye. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe, well, I'm the queen to see. Friday rolls along, you wanna hear my song, so welcome to my show. Welcome to Sarai's Kitchen, the hottest show in the world. It's filled with yummy fixings. My papas are fine. The food is scrumptious. The drinks are flowing. And me, I'm diva gorgeous. So welcome to my show. Ah, welcome to my show. Ah, welcome to my show. Ah. Welcome to my show. Welcome to Surprise Kitchen.